Our first question today is, are there any classes in college that you can take to learn how to wield a lightsaber? If so, which colleges? And the shout out to Jose for that amazing question. This is very important. I would like to know the answer. Uh, and from what I can tell, no, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, this brings up the topic of weird college classes. So a lot of colleges offer just interesting different classes uh, on the theme of Star Wars uh, Queens University in Belfast offers a Star Wars course um, there are the physics of Star Trek uh, Star Trek's <laughs> real people yeah, <laughs> Star obviously. Wars fantasy Star Trek coming soon yeah um, and that's at Santa Clara University uh, there was the University of Akron did a summer course about all of the Star Wars movies so you can find plenty of different classes I took a Heroes and Heroines class in college that we talked about Star Wars a lot. We talked about fairy tales a lot. I took a mythology class in high school where we watched Star Wars, literally. Like, that was part of <laughs> part of the, the coursework, the curriculum, was that we had to watch A New Hope in class, then go home and we had to write a paper about it. This is the best paper I've ever written. <laughs> it's an educational movie. Exactly, you know, <laughs> just super... Um, a lot but, of, learn a lot of life lessons. You do. <laughs> um, but you can get involved, and you can even talk to your um, like campus administrator or something like that. would be like, I think we should have a class on wielding lightsabers or create a club. LARPing's a thing. Oh, big time. LARP with lightsabers. And I don't know, find someone that's really good at making the zoom <laughs> sounds and... Play, you know, go go LARP with them. It's a lot of fun. You can definitely find someone else on campus that has a lightsaber. Yeah. Well, that's actually fun that our CEO has a lightsaber. I don't know if you guys have seen that when he takes it out. <laughs> no, I haven't. You know? no. <laughs> okay, so I'm dating myself because you guys haven't been here as long as I have, but for Halloween, he brought it in one time. No joke, not like one of those plastic ones. It was like the full-blown glass, lights up. When you wave it, it makes the noise. <laughs> I was impressed. Sorry, I need to go to the suggestions box right now and uh, <laughs> request that he bring that in. It might be in his office. I'm not 100 percent on that. I just have to go to talk to Joe office. then. Yeah. <laughs> just go stop by for a visit. Yeah. Hey, hey, I hear you. By have the way, saver. <laughs> Let me check that out. Yeah. Because we got Jose needs to learn how to use it. Yes. <laughs> we'll just course. start our own class. Yeah, I think there. Are, um, I was doing some research, and there are like clubs that do lightsaber teaching, but not as, like, a serious thing. There were a couple of, like, I don't even know how to describe them. But they were, like, you have, like, karate studios and stuff. These were, like, lightsaber studios that were dotted around the U.S. Not a huge undertaking, but it could be growing because the new movies are coming out. So, like, that's a thing. That's true. That's, uh, but even, like... Obviously, lightsaber is a little fantasy. I mentioned earlier, fantasy. <laughs> but um, you could do like something like fencing. Yeah. Uh, you could jump into a club and be like, okay, I'm interested in this, although it's not a beam of light coming <laughs> out. Uh, it is a uh, practical use. And I, first year of college, my roommate, Max, shout out. I forget what your real name is. Um, <laughs> why can't I think of his real name? Yeah, his like middle name was what Max or something. Uh -huh. um, or, his pretend name. There's actually a really interesting story behind that. I'm not sure if his middle name's Max or his friends gave him the nickname. But Max, if you're watching this, which I'm sure you're not, um, <laughs> yeah, shout out to you for, uh, he used to do fencing. He went to Champlain with us uh, first year, and then he would go up to UVM because mm -hmm. Champlain didn't have yep. a fencing club and fence up there. So that's also a potential if you're interested in doing something and your school doesn't offer it, yep. and there are other schools nearby you have the potential to get in and join those clubs as well. Mm -hmm. You can also, um, Oberlin College has a program where people, you know, students and people in the surrounding areas can suggest uh, classes to be taken at their experimental college, and they have a wide variety of them. One of them is how to win a beauty pageant, race, gender, and culture in the, United, in the U.S. national identity. Uh, another one was Coffee 101, and a third one was Beginning Dungeons and Dragons. It's like Dungeons and Dragons 101. So if you really feel that strongly about it, go to Oberlin, talk to their <laughs> students right. at college, and be like, I want to teach a class on lightsaber wielding, which is a very important skill, Sweet. obviously. When the technology <laughs> catches up and we can get actual lightsabers. 
which will happen, obviously. It's fantasy. It's gonna it's happen. Fantasy. Science. <laughs> Uh, just going off that point too about uh, classes that you can take and obviously a lot of schools will not have those classes but if you're interested in film and I'm assuming that you are because you're a big fan of Star Wars or even sci-fi whatever it is um, there are a lot of schools that will offer different courses in film so it's picking up themes in film how the plot develops in film all sorts of different things even um, I took a very bizarre course I don't know I guess not really bizarre, but it was Christian themes in film. And it was fun going through the different movies and seeing what the church approved versus disapproved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so fun fact, Narnia 1 is approved by the church, Narnia 2 not approved. <laughs> um, so I always thought that was really funny. But uh, you can take courses that will do a deeper dive into things that you're already interested in, especially when it comes to media and learn more about those. And although it's not you picking up a lightsaber and running around, it's uh, you diving in with your imagination. So <laughs> maybe it's the same thing, we don't know. <laughs> I did find one school that kind of has a lightsaber club. The University of Nevada, Las Vegas, has a student-run group that's called the Society of Lightsaber Duelists. And they practice, perform, and film these carefully arranged lightsaber battles in front of the school. I wonder if we can oh, like, bring a clip cool. up of that, too, because that'd be just interesting to see. Yeah. If right? it's, like, them actually doing it uh, and then posting After Effects in it. And having yeah. a, like, I, I'm curious. I saw pictures of it. It looks like a huge thing. Eric a lot of did that. Yeah. Yeah, that was really cool. Who mm -hmm. did it? Eric's son. Oh, really? This guy that works with us, Eric, his son is doing videography, or he's into videography, and he did this really cool... Star Wars themed training video it was really well done. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was great. I enjoyed watching it. <laughs> I'm not even a huge fan. <laughs> On that note, you can also get into Quidditch, which is oh, hey. not That's Star not Wars. Fantasy. Fun. It's That's not fantasy. Real, real it's stuff. legit. It's <laughs> real stuff. <laughs> there's there's a World Cup that's only national, but no flying. But you, you have a broom. You do have a broom. You have a broom. Someone dresses up jump, in yellow. Yeah. <laughs> you jump. You could, it's like flying, right? Wee! <laughs> Someone dresses up in yellow and run around, runs around, and they're the snitch. I wanted to be a bludger because mm. then you're just like standing there whipping stuff at people, or at least I assume that's what it is. I have not been to a Quidditch game, but I've seen Quidditch practices because Emerson College has one. Um, they have a Quidditch team, and it, I believe it's intercollegiate. Uh, BU also has one, so maybe they play each other. Mm. That's a huge thing. But Emerson, will, because they don't really have a campus, they just practice on the Boston Common. And I'm like, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> it's Quidditch, because they have the brooms. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's it's And they have, fun. like, what is it, like, three circles? The yeah. So yeah. They have, you or I have Get those. The <laughs> into, I don't know what the rings are called, though, but the quaff is the ball, right? The quaff. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. Quaff is what your hair looks like. <laughs> True. <laughs> um, yeah, there's tons of fun stuff at college. It's not necessarily lightsabers, but just check out other cool things. Yeah, I feel like there's always something going on in your college, depending on what your interests are. So I, we're going to deep dive in the future questions about extracurriculars and what you can and should do if you're interested in it. So... Uh, just stay tuned for that because uh, there are a plenty of different things you can do. And if you're not, if so, something you might not even think of, uh, a lot of the times they're going to be a student activities fair. And you can go around and talk to people and see things that you didn't know existed. Um, for example, I didn't think Quidditch was real uh, and then it became a real thing. So, and now there's a World Cup for it. So, <laughs> you know, just uh, get excited, get jazzed. It's a, you can do everything. Yeah.